Helldivers 2 made its debut on Steam and PS5 on February 8th, marking the occasion with numerous broken records, entertaining community clips, and temporary truth between Xbox and PlayStation enthusiasts alike. Many players are well aware of Helldivers 2 grappling with connectivity issues, server to capacity constraints, game crashing bugs, and the fact that it remains exclusive to PlayStation. This exclusivity means Xbox players will need to exercise patience until the game becomes available on their platform or consider acquiring it for PC or PlayStation. What sets Helldivers 2 apart is its captivating nature, managing to captivate players with the initial moments of gameplay a rarity for many people in recent years. The game has become a constant presence in my thoughts, influencing my waking hours as I eagerly log in and even infiltrating my dreams. Writing this script is proving challenging as the game beckons me to dive back into its world. Despite the individual allure of Helldivers 2, it's essential to recognize that the broader gaming community is experiencing a revitalization. Beyond Helldivers 2, recent releases like Pow World, with a peak player count of 2.1 million, along with titles such as Dredge and Lethal Company, they all share a common trait. They're all indie games. Notably absent is the influence of corporate greed, contributing to the resurgence of genuine enthusiasm within the gaming community. Within Helldivers 2, the ongoing conflict involves Super Earth engaging in war with two distinct factions, the socialist automatons and the resource-rich terminids. Each faction presents a unique gameplay experience demanding strategic approaches that are diametrically opposed depending on the adversary. For instance, when facing the automatons, deploying an eagle airstrike might prove effective. Conversely, in combat against the terminids, opting for an eagle napalm strike could be a more suitable choice. The decision ultimately rests with the player and the game dynamically responds, either rewarding or penalizing based on the choices made. The challenges escalate during confrontations with either faction. The automatons, reminiscent of T-800 Terminators, retaliate with a formidable arsenal that includes basic rifles, rocket launchers, miniguns, giant turbo lasers, artillery strikes, and grenades, creating an intense space Vietnam atmosphere. On the other hand, battling the Terminids is a race against time to control the swarm, encompassing not just smaller bugs, but also formidable, heavily armored counterparts. These missions evoke the thrilling essence of Starship Troopers, adding an extra layer of excitement to the overall gaming experience. Helldivers 2 doesn't just simply thrust you into random missions. Instead, it offers a plethora of mission options for you to choose from. Navigating the galaxy map, you can pick any available planet, whether it's a defend or liberation objective, collaborating with fellow players to achieve the shared goal of managed democracy. While selecting your desired planet, you have the flexibility to choose from various difficulty levels ranging from trivial to the toughest Helldiver. The missions themselves vary, ranging from launching ICBMs, a personal favorite of mine, to eradicating nests or facilities, depending upon the faction you're up against. Diversity extends beyond the missions, encompassing a vast array of armors, helmets, capes, and weapons, allowing you to truly express your personality on the battlefield. The in-game currency, medals, earned through gameplay, can be used to acquire additional gear. Additionally, there's a premium store where you can spend another currency called Super Credits, which can also be earned in-game. Procuring gear involves progressing through the War Bond reward system. Essentially an ever-present battle pass, the game debuted with a standard War Bond accessible to everyone and a premium pass priced at 1,000 super credits or $10 in equivalents. In my view, the game's approach to the battle pass is notably fair and considerate. Helldivers 2 offers the flexibility of solo play or cooperative action with a group up to four players, dynamically adjusting the mission's difficulty in real time. Having allies by your side is particularly advantageous, especially when contending with the elusive Stalker Terminates.
The game uniquely employs co-op mechanics where success hinges on cohesive teamwork or faces the risk of mission failure. While playing with familiar acquaintances enhances the experience, engaging with random players still provides a fun and rewarding dynamic. Whether utilizing collaborative weaponry or offering covering fire during objective completion, Helldivers 2 fosters a sense of teamwork toward a larger goal. The game's soundtrack stands out as one of the best in recent memory. The adrenaline-pumping music that accompanies your descent into battle sets the tone for the impending mission. Each faction boasts its distinct mission soundtrack, with the automaton planets featuring a cyber-inspired melody, and then the terminid soundtrack evoking a horror-esque ambience. Surprisingly, the Super Earth National Anthem emerges as a personal favorite, including an unexpectedly patriotic sentiment. Priced at just $40, this game easily secures a spot among my all-time favorites. Having invested already over 110 hours within just a week of ownership, it seems unlikely that I'll be putting this game down anytime soon. The sheer volume of content and replayability is almost staggering. It's really almost too good to be true. This stands in stark contrast to the practices of certain corporate AAA studios, notorious for releasing games with minimal content and gradually adding more over time. I'm looking at you, Ubisoft. Helldivers 2 has etched its place in history as the game that rekindled hope for gamers worldwide, myself included. Therefore, it's an absolute must-play for every gamer out there, and the developers truly deserve our unwavering support. I will see you on the battlefield, and remember, liberty never sleeps.